Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Right. What are you doing? <laughs> Dave East, I don't know. He's just a kid. I, I call myself saving his life. I'm like, bro. I saw you having two pop you. How how are you a crip? You know that's that's funny. You 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 think about it. A lot of people they this this being from L.A. How do you guys look at the Crips and the Bloods in the South? Or do y'all really take them serious? Or do or wherever else did because it come from well, Crips, L.A. I'm, 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 this would be you. Crips are you know they're <laughs> Crips. The <they're> E-Riggets. <laughs> <laughs> We, 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 they have their own thing. <laughs> but you know, with the B dogs, you know, it's a whole different thing. You can't just you, this ain't the Boy Scout. <laughs> you didn't grow up in my street. I know everybody lives where your mama lives. Your mama don't live where your mama lives. It's a territory thing. How can you do that when you're not in those areas? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have to grow up on your street. It's, you know. Ice Cube told you, like, die for a street that they didn't even heard of. <laughs> right? So it's like, that's the only thing. With the, I was just like, how is he? I was just trying to get some clarity. Like, how is he a crib? I know earlier you spoke about Robin Williams. And I know Robin that. Um, hmm? Robin Harris. Oh. Yeah, Robin Harris. Oh. Robin Williams died of a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. He, he, yeah okay. he committed suicide. Okay. It's a whole different okay, dude. Okay, well, let's talk about Robin Williams, okay? Um, him being a comedian and um, passed away from, you know, mental illness and stuff like that. Um, how serious is it to... Because, you know, comedians, they laugh a lot, even when they're going through stuff. Not really. No? No. I mean, no. Uh, in In a congregation maybe but most comedians are quiet like that's how you can tell a bad comedian because the quiet is like you know what I'm saying if you're in a, a green room and motherfucker is quiet then you got the one motherfucker going eh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ain't gonna be shit <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> but most yeah most um I don't know, the brilliant ones are, are, are it's not about jokey jokey. Uh, jokey, jokey, jokey. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like the ones that I was, you know, because I just thought something was wrong with me because I, I saw things differently. Like, you know, I didn't see it from a jokey. Like most of my, what you call jokes are not jokes. They're just storylines from my life. I right. think, and I can tell that. We remember we seen Will Ferrell, and he was quiet looking, and mm. oh, yeah. I'm like, this nigga don't look like that. I want to see the nigga do the thing, you know. What I, mean? I want to see he the nigga. He was so serious. I'm when like, we this saw nigga him. ain't that ain't the one. I, I want to, you know, it's like a dog in a cage. You just trying to figure out a way to poke him and get him to react. But no. that's how but people they are when they, they watch you on TV and they see you. They think that that's how you are all the time. So when they mm. see you in person, that's what they think they're gonna get. No, listen, I work with the great Wesley Snipes. Yeah, man. This summer. And um, this dude came up to him. He came, you know, and Wesley's a quiet dude. He's just studying. Most people are just studying. Mm-hmm. You know, just most artists are just studying people. Just study, you know, and, and Wesley was just, the guy just, hey, <laughs> Nino Brown. <laughs> Nino, oh, 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 Nino. <laughs> Wesley's like, that's the way it go down. That's not me, brother. That's a character I play. I, I read that character. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, if you meet Mr. Snipes and then you meet Nino Brown, they're two different people. No, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, and that's what people are wanting to go, do some karate. <laughs> mm-hmm. Blade, what's up, Blade? Mm-hmm. A big worm, same thing. There it is. <laughs> but you see, when you're talking about the characters, I was watching um, a podcast the other day, and I think I was watching um, Pierre. Yeah, Pierre. yeah. Right, and the guy that was on there was the guy who came in Jamie Foxx show. Um, the, uh, the tall, yeah. yeah. What's his name? I don't even know. The, the tall, light-skinned one. What's his name on that? I don't 
Um, he didn't have a main role, so I, I know. But he was talking about um, but he was when good. you go for auditions, um, because no matter how big you are, you still go for some auditions and so forth. And when you walk in to get audition, and if the the people who are there are calling you the character's name he's like that's the worst thing for him it's different when you have like fans you know you're on the street and somebody come up to you and say you know big worm but when you go in for audition and they call you big worm when the part that you are auditioning for it might be a action or, no, or it might be something else he's saying that they're calling by a past character's name right yeah. so they're yeah. already marking him off the list so to say because they're looking yeah, at you as I, I this comedian compared I, well, to I tell them I don't do all this you gotta how, yeah, how, how, you, how you get down like when you get ready to get you, you, you gotta go you gotta call you no they gotta uh, first they gotta know <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no auditions, motherfucker. You, you go to Netflix. Or go, I send them Blockbuster. Go to Blockbuster. And you either think I can't it. read it or you think I can't act. Pick one. But I'm not coming in your little room. And act out and, for you. And suck some cock. <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.